Hey YouTubers, Monster Guy Jim here. Well, as the title of the video suggests, I was having trouble with my zipper. It sounds worse than it is. What's happened here is that this zipper, uh, because the bag's been overstuffed for so many years, it's, uh, hmm, I guess I, the best way to explain it is that the zipper teeth have separated a little bit. And so when I pull the zipper up, it lets go right about in this area of the pack. And so what I've done, since it's got double zippers, I've sewn a bunch of loops here through the zipper to keep the zipper uh, pull tab from going down further to where it would break or where it would loosen. And then now what I'm doing is I'm just sewing up a bunch of loops right up here to prevent the zipper tab from being pulled up. So now when I want to use my back pocket, all I have to do is use uh, this one and come all the way around. And it opens it up about three quarters of the way, which is plenty. Anyway, um, I've ordered another pack. I've been looking for a slightly larger pack anyway. My wife says that I overstuffed this one and that's why the zipper broke. She's probably right. Anyway, um, the pack is just a, a little bit bigger than this one. This one was, I don't know, 27 liters and then I added a few pockets, like the extra pouches. So it brought it up to about 30 some odd liters. But this next one is more like a 40 liter pack. So, uh, when it comes in, I'll uh, definitely, you know, show it to you and everything. Um, show you all the pockets and the zippers and Molly attachments and whatever. Um, I don't buy really expensive bags. Um, nothing against some of the people around here that make, you know, homemade bags and stuff. Um, I'm, okay, I'm cheap. I'll, I'll admit it, I'm cheap. My wife says I'm Scottish or something, but I've got no Scottish blood in me at all. Uh, anyway, I tend to want to fix things when they're broken, and um, I don't expect gear to last. Like, I don't buy gear at this age. Like, I'm in my 60s, so I'm not going to buy something that's going to last a lifetime because it'll still be practically brand new when I'm gone. So, you know, there's no real point in that. So I'll just buy gear that will last me my lifetime and if it needs a little bit of repairs now and again so be it it wasn't expensive to begin with so anyway I'm gonna finish sewing this up and uh, I made a coffee in my last video so I'm gonna finish that so like I said I'm expecting the new pack to arrive um, anytime between the 28th of April so that's a week and a half from now until the middle of May, somewhere around there. Um, so it should arrive. And uh, it's similar to this one in the sense that it's a similar camouflage pattern. I like this camouflage pattern. It's not CP digital. It's just, I think it's just CP camouflage. And I have no idea what the uh, CP stands for. But I really like the colors and the patterns, and uh, so that's why I ordered it. It also matches my hat. This hat, by the way, is made in Canada. Slippery footing. to do it. Now over the years with this cheaper pack I've had some issues with it uh, like for example the straps that won't stay inside the buckles so I've had to stitch a little bit and I've had a couple of broken buckles broken plastic buckles 
So like for example, the one on the belt. Where is it now? I guess it was on the other belt. Um, talking about belts. I replaced the belt on this one. I put in a great big heavy duty belt and I had to sew that to the bottom because the the rings didn't have anything to attach to and uh, there was an issue with one of these shoulder straps it broke the buckle that it was attached to so I ended up tying it to the D-ring and what else I don't know that's about it oh yes right one of the things I really didn't like about this pack was the way the shoulder straps are attached to the pack like at the top you've got this really thin piece of webbing as opposed to having that attached directly there and what happens is with this thin piece of webbing these tend to spin around on you when you're trying to put them on so whenever you put them on you have to kind of have to check to make sure that they're lying flat but other than that this was a I don't know a $25 pack you know so I didn't pay a whole lot for it so I didn't expect a whole lot of use out of it uh, my next one is the same it's like a, a $35 pack and I'm paying 10 bucks for shipping so again you know if I get another five six seven years out of it you know that might be the length of time I've got left for my YouTube channel who knows right I'll be 70 years old by then hard to believe don't know where the time went anyway that's one of the reasons why I'm cheap I don't want to spend you know 150 200 dollars on a backpack that I'm only going to use for five years it doesn't make any sense and the other thing is the those packs I'm not going to mention any names, but anyway, there's a company in the States that makes really good uh, duffel bag type packs. They're um, older ones, like older style, um, with the big bag in the middle and then a couple of other bags on the side. And it doesn't have zippers. It's got, you know, those uh, like belt buckle type uh, straps on it. And uh, I'm sure, you know, he makes wonderful gear. And he has been for, well, I would say for the past five to ten years. So um, he's doing really well for himself. And uh, I don't doubt the quality one bit. But he doesn't have my camo pattern. And his prices are a little steep for me because I'm in Canada. And so that automatically adds like 20, 25% more on his prices. So, that's why I stayed away from his stuff, but um, his stuff, like I said, it is good, and um, I'm sure that it would last a lifetime. Like, if you're a young fella in your 30s or 40s or something, his packs would last a lifetime. Anyway, I'm rambling now. <laughs> Just an old man rambling, right? Anyway, um, this pack is going to last me well beyond uh, the time that my new pack arrives. And there's my wife on the cell phone. Room. Checking up on me. Yep, she's on her lunch break. She's at work right now, so just have to respond. So then she doesn't worry. There. Anyway, uh, like I said, just an old man rambling. Um, this pack is going to last me well beyond uh, the arrival date of my next pack. So I'm definitely not getting rid of it. If I need to take like fewer items than I normally do, I'll take this one. And if I need to take a little bit more, I'll take the other one. Or maybe I'll just use the other one all the time. Who knows, right? Depends on how much I like the other one. I know it doesn't have these shoulder strap issues. Anyway. I'm going to sign off for now, uh, wishing you all the best, and um, get out and enjoy it.
This is Muskrat Jim, signing out. For more Muskrat survival videos, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember to click the bell to receive notifications of newly uploaded videos on this channel.